Welcome back guys, half fast and one nine. Back at it. So, as you guys know, two videos ago, you guys uh, heard me talking about our uh, septic that they did. My wife thought they broke the fence, but they didn't. It worked. Got home last night. Everything worked fine. Um, I had a huge tree trunk right here. Huge tree trunk. Um, and it looks like they took the tree trunk out. That's it right there. So I'll have to move that to the backyard. But uh, about two of those is what it looked like I hit on the freeway. It was just massive. It was probably like, I don't know, four foot tall, three and a half foot tall. By the way. So they came in here with the backhoe. They came through, they removed the tree trunk. Thankfully they didn't hit my water line there. And I used to have a steel pipe right here. Oh, I got a tree trunk here. My main, and then another spigot right there. So they came through. Um, and I told the guy, I asked him if he needed me to cut any of these branches down. Like I said in the video, my wife thought he was going to try charging us more. But they ended up cutting, looks like, uh, this branch and this branch. No big deal. So they came through, did whatever they did over here, brought it in truck, and I think they dumped rock over here. So, um, yeah, under here is where my septic tank is. This is the hole they cut open. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably drill some holes in there and then just glue in like a handle or something. So that I can get access to it if I need to. Because it's just a... They just cut it open. And the stupid basketball court thing's still here. I thought for sure they were going to tear that down. Um, but yeah, anyway, the... I believe the leech line comes out right here. And then cuts over to here. And that's the pipe they broke. That pipe used to be right here. As you can see, from there to there, but I'm okay with that. I like it. I like it there. So they did a good job. Thank you for relocating the pipe. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, that's good. And then uh, yeah, so that leech line comes here, and from the pictures, I believe it's right here, basically. In line with the truck the barn so they put all the branches and stuff all the crap that they cut up they put it out there no big deal I got a branch thingamajigger that I can use to cut it all up oh here's some leftover rock so yeah looks like they put the rock here <clears throat> Not a bunch of leftover rock and then the tree trunk that was right here which they ripped out which is awesome so thank you um, but yeah they did a good job looks good I got no complaints even if they would have broke the gate I don't think I complain um, but yeah, so now I just got to go through that, trim all those stupid branches. I got a lot of this trash here. <sighs> if you work a lot, don't buy a house property. Move into a townhouse or something. It's just too much work. So, um, yeah, uh, that's about it. That's uh, the septic uh, leech line. Came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it, um, as long as it works. So now we start it. Now we have to start priming the the system uh, with Ridex or some other stuff. So um, need to do that. Need the state and country to open so that I can bring crap to Goodwill to 
get it out of my barn. Um, for those of you that didn't see, I had shelving units here, tore them all down. And, uh, yeah. There's all kinds of stuff. And no, I'm not dusting off the bikes. And gotta make jumps. Wood. Too old for that crap. Too old to be jumping bikes again. I'll go ride bikes. I can't jump them anymore. Spiker. Spider. Wake up. Anyway. I leave all my spiders alone in my barn. I leave my spiders alone. I come in here, I usually talk to them. And I tell them to go away. I tell them I'm in here. I say, I'm in here. Go away. Go hide. Like that one. <clears throat> Don't put webs on my truck. Freaking spider. I know you're a black widow too. Because I see your egg. Your little cocoon. Stay out of my way, I stay out of your way. Anyway, you guys probably think I'm weird. But, um, anyway. Yeah, I got a lot of crap to do. I got too much junk to do, too much junk to deal with. And, uh, especially with what's going on in the world. Anyway, hopefully you guys are all safe. Hopefully everything's going good with you guys. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go inside, probably eat some breakfast-ish lunch. And, uh, and then you guys can see, uh, next video. I got another video planned already. And I have two videos. Eh, maybe one video. I'll combine them. So, stay tuned for that video, the next video. Got a couple parts for the truck. Um, coming. Got a couple parts for my 2010 Ram 2500 Mega Cab. Look at them tow mirrors. That's how I drive my tow mirrors in. Man, whatever. Alright guys, see you guys on the next video. Comment, subscribe, do what you guys do. Thank you guys. Talk to you guys later. Later.